Good morning and namaste. I'm Suresh Kunal. Today in this video, we are going to talk about computer networking. It's the first lesson for this chapter, and this video is recorded for mcqsets.com. Before we proceed, I want to show you the website where you can read the text about uh, this topic. Open your browser and type mcqsets.com. It will load our website. From there, click on the site menu. We have various options here. So go to the read and click on fundamentals. This computer networking topic is included in fundamentals portion. So scroll down the page a little bit. You will get a post about computer networking, internet and online services. Click on this link. So we land on the computer networking, internet and online services page. Here's the text you need to read about the computer networking. Whatever is prescribed by PSC syllabus, the text covers those things. Okay, this is the page where you will read more about it. Uh, let's go back to our presentation. So, shall we proceed? In this lesson, we will talk about the three topics only. The definition, advantages and disadvantages of computer networking, and finally, we'll also talk about the computer services. Let's talk about the definition. The definition, uh, as is given in MCQ sets uh, of computer network, is like this. Computer network is a collection of distributed intelligent machines that are connected with each other with the transmission media for the purpose of data sharing, communication, and sharing of computer resources. Let's look at it on this image. So here you can see the various uh, devices, the various machines, like we have got the smartphone, tablet PCs, we have got a server or desktop PCs and other PCs, the IP phones, and also we have got the servers routers, switches, and the wireless routers. So all these devices, all the, they are the intelligent machines. When all these devices are connected with each other, and they are connected, you can see the line, solid lines here, to indicate the wired connection. They are connected with cables. And you can see these wave connection here also. So they are connected wirelessly. So whether they use the wires, or they use the wireless connection, when they are connected with each other, they form a network. And the purpose behind this connection, the purpose behind this integration, is obviously to share data, to enable communication, and to share the computer resources. For example, here we have a server, a powerful computer, that may offer different services like it can allow its hard disk or it can allow its storage space for other computers to save their files or it can offer its database for other computers to store their data onto it so this way to share the resources to communicate with each other and to share the data if these various devices are connected with each other using any transmission media then we can call this type of connection, this type of integration as a computer network. That's why the definition computer network is a collection of distributed intelligent machines that are connected with each other with transmission media for the purpose of data sharing, communication, and sharing of computer resources. This can be a complete definition of a computer network. Okay, this was the definition. Now let's proceed. Now we'll talk about the advantages and disadvantages of computer networking. Here are some advantages listed. Like when you connect the individual computers or individual devices and form a network, it will help you to manage uh, efficiently. Like the computers, uh, staff and information can be well managed. 
Similarly, the computer network also can enable uh, easy accessibility to data. A network provides the means to exchange data among the computers and to make programs and data available to people. So to improve the accessibility, computer networking can be used. Another advantage after the networking can be resource sharing. It's uh, very uh, obviously, it permits the sharing of the resources of the machine. Like if you have one scanner, then all the uh, computers connected with it can use that device to scan images and receive the digital file on their PC or the sharing the printer or database or the processing power. So you can share the computer resources uh, over the network. And another advantage you can obtain is the easy backup because the data, they are centralized on the file servers. You can backup the, those files very easily. Uh, similarly, the backing up of the data is much more easier in a network than in distributed computing. Another advantage is the working environment is really flexible because when your uh, computers are connected uh, in a network, uh, you can access, you can perform the task from any computers, even you can uh, use your office computers through your home. So you can work at home. So these are the benefits of the uh, computer networking. And to put these things in simple words, we can uh, point out the benefits like this one also. Like sharing devices such as printer saves money. Like it enables sharing devices. And so only one unit of, of the kind of device will be sufficient to make your task done. Like you have one printer, then it can serve a printing for all the computers and it can save you money. Another advantage can be the software licenses. Like if you have 20 computers in your organization and buying 20 different licenses might be more expensive than buying one license for your network. So this way, software licenses are likely to be cheaper than buying several standalone licenses. This is another advantage. And files can usually be shared between users because each of those devices are connected. You can share files from one computer to another computer. Uh, network users can communicate by email and instant messenger. So messaging service is um, enabled. You can use those messages services, messaging services. Uh, security is good. Like in case of a standalone computer, if you get access to that computer, you can get all the files of all the users. But in network computers, you cannot see others' files. So security is relatively better in network environment than in distributed computing. And data is easily backup as all the data is stored on the file server. So this way, these are some of the advantages I've pointed out. And now let's go back towards the disadvantages of computer networking. Like everything has pros and cons, uh, ne computer networking also has some dark sides. So what it can be? Like purchasing the network cabling and file servers can be expensive. Yeah, this, the initial cost or the installation cost of networking can really be huge. You need to buy lots of cables, uh, cabling is required, you need to buy several uh, devices like the uh, routers, uh, switches, and so on, network devices, uh, it can be expensive. Uh, similarly, the server computers, they are comparatively much more expensive. So initial cost or the installation cost of the computer network can be expensive. This is one of the darker side of the computer networking. And another one, managing a large network is complicated. It requires training and a network manager usually needs to be employed. So a high highly qualified and skilled manpower is required to establish and to operate your computer network. So it can be the another drawback. The third point, if the file server breaks down, files on the server becomes inaccessible. So in the network, if the there is a fault in transmission media, the working can be affected. The fault in the servers can affect uh, hugely affected. So this way now the work is based on the interconnection and the work is centralized. So the problem in network can cause a problem in your working. So that can be another disadvantage. Another thing, viruses can spread to the computers throughout a computer network. 
So if it was a standalone computer and one computer gets infected, uh, you could still work with other computers. Other computers were uh, perfectly fine. But in case of computer networking, in, after you have a formal network, if one computer is infected, the virus can infect, it can transfer, the virus can travel through the network to your other computers also, and the other computers also may get affected or infected. Well, and the last one, there is a danger of hacking, particularly with wide area networks. Security procedures are needed to prevent such abuses. Like the um, other people getting hacking and enter, entering unauthorized into your network and doing some unnecessary uh, nasty things, uh, that kind of risk is always there. So the, you need to be always uh, aware of the security risks. So a proper management, a proper arrangement for the security is required if your organization works uh, with the computer networks. Well, these were the disadvantages of the computer networking. And now finally, let's see uh, to the computer network services. So here are the five major network services uh, you can enjoy after you form a network on your organization. Like what the network can offer. Network can offer these five services. Like the first one, file service. This file service in a network means it uh, allows a file transfer, file storage, data migration, file update, and file synchronization and archiving. These kind of services that you can enjoy in a network is known as file services. Similarly, a network can offer printing services also. Like you have got a very high powered good printer and this printer is shared across the computer network. So this printing services uh, produces shared access to the valuable printing devices. That is another network services. And the third service, message service. After you form a network, you can enjoy the email, voicemails, and coordinate object-oriented applications. So this kind of services a network can offer, known as message services. Mm, fourth one is the application services. This means you have uh, you obtain and you buy you purchase the application and install in a server computer in a server. Then after that, the application can be used by all the, uh, the computers on over the network. And this service allows the centralized high-profile applications to increase performance and scalability. So this is another service you can enjoy. You can use in your computer network so application services and finally the database services and database services involves coordination of distributed data and replication and that means say you've got a database server on your network and all the computers they can store data onto the database retrieve data from that database and whatever the database offers a service and your network can enjoy it so this way these are the five network services Okay, thank you for your time and hope this helps you a little bit. You go to the mcqsets.com and read the text over there. In next video, we will talk about the more about this computer networking. Till then, see you.